The meeting room will come to order. We are now holding a meeting of the Turtle Lake Mercer FFA chapter. Mr. Vice President, are all officers at their stations? I shall call the roll of officers, determine if they are at their stations, and report back to you, Mr. President. The Sentinel. Station by the door. Your duty's there. Through this door pass many friends of the FFA. It is my duty to see that the door is open to our friends at all times and that they are welcome. I care for the meeting room and paraphernalia. I strive to keep the room comfortable and assist the president in maintaining order. The reporter. The reporter is stationed by the flag. Why by the flag? Because the flag covers the United States of America, so I strive to inform the people in order that every man, woman, and child may know that the FFA is a national organization that reaches from the state of Alaska to Puerto Rico and from the state of Maine to Hawaii. The treasurer. Stationed at the emblem of Washington. Your duties there. I keep a record of receipts and disbursements, just as Washington kept his farm accounts, carefully and accurately. I encourage the among the members and strive to build up my financial standings through savings and investments. George Washington was better able to serve his country because he was financially independent. The Secretary. Stationed by the ear of corn. Your duties there. I keep an accurate record of all meetings and correspond with other secretaries. Wherever corn is grown and FFA members meet. The advisor. Here by the owl. Why station by the owl? The owl is a time-honored emblem of knowledge and wisdom. Being older than the rest of you, I am asked to advise you from time to time as the need arises. I hope that my advice will always be based on true knowledge and directed with wisdom. Mr. Vice President, why do you keep a plow at your station? The plow is a symbol of labor and tillage of the soil. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. My duties require me to assist at all times in directing the work of our organization. I preside over meetings in the absence of our president, who is placed beneath the rising sun. Why is the president so stationed? The rising sun is a token of a new era in agriculture. If we will follow the leadership of our president, we shall be led out of the darkness of selfishness and into the glorious sunlight of brotherhood and cooperation. Mr. President, all officers are at their stations. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. <coughs> the secretary will call the roll of members. There are eight members and one advisor present, Mr. President. Thank you. FFA members, why are we here? To practice brotherhood, honor agricultural opportunities and responsibilities, and develop those qualities of leadership which an FFA member should possess. May we accomplish our purposes. I now declare this meeting of the Turtle Lake Mercer FFA chapter duly open for the transaction of business or attention to any matters which may properly be presented. Is there any new business? Mr. President. Vice President. I'm going to go to chapter building trebuchet for the U.S. National Pumpkin, Pumpkin Chunkin Contest. Second day. It's been probably decided that our chapter build a trebuchet for the National Pumpkin Chunkin Contest. Is there any discussion? Mr. Mr. President. President. Vice I President. This is a terrible idea. And Mr. President, I call for a point of order. Stage point. Rather, you speaking out of turn. Point well taken. Mr. Mr. Vice President, would you like to continue? Yes, please. I am greatly in favor of this motion. Now that I see that it came to me, uh, building a trebuchet would take some effort and work, but we do have some engineers in here, some ag mechanic people, and we believe we can handle it, and it will get a few of our ch chapter members that maybe don't like contests, but maybe more like building things and stuff, more involved, which is a great deal that we're kind of having a problem in, of in our chapter. So please be behind me and pass this motion. Mr. President, Treasurer. this is a idea. Our FFA organization has a budget that we need to follow, and it, making it a catapult would completely just go over our budget of at least $500. And just think of it, and how are we even going to pick the, the materials up? We don't have time to pick the materials up. So between the cost and time, this is still a terrible idea. I urge you to fail this. Mr. President. President. Sentinel. I believe this is a wonderful idea. Why don't only more people we could get enrolled in our chapter? Because there's a catapult that we can build once a year. So many. I mean, when I was younger, I always wanted to build a catapult and launch that pumpkin. So get behind me and pass this motion. Mr. Mr. President. Reporter. I think that this is a great idea. We would get so many members involved, and one of our problems in our chapter is that the younger members don't really want to do anything. And I think that by doing this, they'd get interested in it and continue their involvement in FFA. So could be behind me and pass this. Mr. President. Secretary. This is a horrible idea. First of all, we don't have the time for this. We're all busy. We all have activities. Plus, we have other... Uh, conscious to practice for. And not only that, how is this helping our community in any way or form? We have no need for this, so fail this motion. All right, a question of privilege. State your question. May I take off my jacket? Yes, you may privilege granted.
on, upon further consideration, no, you may not. That is against the rules of conducting the meeting. Please put your jacket back on. Privilege denied. Is there any further discussion on the main motion? Mr. President, Treasurer. I'm going to postpone this motion definitely to our next regular scheduled meeting. Second. Second. Is there a problem with that we postpone this motion definitely to our next regular scheduled meeting? Is there any discussion to postpone? Mr. President, Mr. President Treasurer. Seeing that this room is somewhat divided, I think that we would need more time to figure this out. And I think by passing this, it would be a wonderful idea to gather our information still. So please. I urge you to pass this. Mr. President, President. Vice President. I am, I'm agreeing to the Treasurer of making this motion. I believe a few of us in this room do not really like this idea, but I believe that if we give you guys some time to think about it, you will come to your senses and vote yes on this motion. Mr. Mr. President. Sentinel. I think this is a horrible idea. We have the knowledge and tools right now to decide this right now. And just putting it off would be a waste of our time, so get behind me. Mr. President. Reporter. I think that this is an awful idea. We can decide this right now, hash it out, and actually see if we want to do this. Mr. President, Secretary. this is a horrible idea. We have the correct amount of knowledge. We know what we need to do, so I urge you to fail this motion. Is there any further discussion on the postponement? Discussion? Discussion. Seeing none, we should not proceed to vote. All those in favor of postponing this motion to definitely to an extra scheduled meeting, please say aye. 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 All opposed? No. The ayes have it. This motion I will be referred. The, the division of the House has been called for. All those in favor of postponing this motion, please rise. Those opposed? With a 2 to 2, this motion is tied. As the chair, I will decide that we will postpone this motion to our next regular scheduled meeting. Is there any further business? Mr. President. Mr. Vice President. I'm our chapter have a donkey basketball game. I call for orders of the day. The orders of the day have been called for. We will now proceed with the orders of the day dealing with our local voting precinct. Is there any new business? Mr. President. Reporter. I move that our chapter um, provide for Provide refreshments for all of the election officials on our local precinct day. Is there a problem with the second that our chapter provide refreshments for all voting officials <coughs> on our local precinct on voting day? Is there any discussion? Mr. Mr. President. Mr. President. Reporter. I think that this is a wonderful idea. It would get more community involvement and we would um, have more community service, which is one of our main goals for our chapters to have more community service. So give me how many passes. Mr. Mr. President. President. Vice President. I'm greatly against this motion. This, this election coming up is going to be hectic. I don't want to deal with Trump or Clinton. And dealing with people on the, at the voting polls is going to be even worse. They're going to be like, oh, vote for this person, oh, vote for this person. And they're going to be so built up for getting our refreshments. We're going to be way too, we're going to be worked way too hard. And it's not going to have any benefit for us. So please be happy and fail this motion. Mr. President. Second note. This is a wonderful idea. I mean, us young people need to learn about the next coming president. And the best way is to go to the voting polls and, you know, help out. And plus, it is our job to help the community. It's not our job to sit back and just watch, you know, people slave away. It's our job to help them make sure the job is run efficiently and, you know, give them refreshments in the end. So get behind me, Pastor. Mr. President. Treasurer. I agree with the previous speaker. I think this would be a wonderful idea. Refreshments, we could maybe do water. I mean, that's free, right? Just all you have to do is get some cups and here you go, here's some water. And especially since, like the Vice President said, it's going to be pretty hectic, I think we could do something simple, too. So we don't have to necessarily do something complex. So I think this is a very good idea. Please pass this. Mr. Mr. President. Secretary. I think this is a horrible idea. First of all, our uh, community members don't need this. They all know our officer team does most of the work. Therefore, our chapter doesn't help out. So they're going to be like, well, they just did this so they can look good and stuff. So get behind me and fail this motion. Mr. President. Reporter. I still believe this is a great idea. I can write um, articles about it and describe how what we did and why we did it, and I can publish it everywhere, which will get more attention to our chapter and uh, help with our fundraising. So be on the passes. Mr. President, Sentinel. I move the amend motion by substituting the word food for refreshment. So the new motion may state our chapter provide food for all election officers at our local pro, pro precincts on election day. Second, it would probably be second that we replace the word refreshments with food so that a new motion may state that our chapter provide food for all voting officials at our local precincts on election day. Is there any discussion? Mr. Mr. President. Sentinel. I this is a wonderful idea. I mean, refreshments isn't a lot. I mean, it's just pretty much us, like Treasure said, giving them water. Food would be like us grilling burgers and actually like helping them, like, so they're not like thinking about anything else while they're like, you know, running the thing. So, get behind me, Pastor. Mr. President. Mr. President. Vice President. This makes the motion even worse. Giving them refreshments was already hard enough. M making them food? What if we burn the food and make it worse and then we're going to have people 
yelling at us and make and is this going to make this motion even harder? And we're going to have to buy the food. And do we even have a profit in any of this? No. So I believe, so get behind me and fail this amendment. Mr. President, Treasury. I think this is a wonderful idea to do food on the FFA emblem. The ear of corn represents unity. What better way to unify our community is to help serve them. We are learning to serve people. Our chapter needs to learn this. And I think by doing the food would be a wonderful idea. So please, pass this amend. Mr. President. Secretary. I have a previous question. Is there a second? Second. Is there a problem with a second to move the previous question? On the, uh, <clears throat> all those in favor, please rise. All opposed? With a three to one, three to, with a four to one in the positive, the previous question passes. We should now proceed to vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? No. The ayes have it. The amendment passes. Is there any further discussion on the motion? Mr. President. Secretary. I think this is a horrible idea yet. First of all, food? You know how much work that takes? And with the amount of people in our organization that isn't active, this would be way too much. Plus, this isn't even... People go to vote and then they leave. It doesn't take that amount of time. Why would we give them food? So get behind me and fail this motion. Is there any further discussion? Mr. President. Vice President. Due to time, I move the latest, uh, latest motion on the table. Second. Is there a problem with the second that we lay this motion on the table? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? No. The ayes have it. This motion will be laid on the table. Madam Secretary, do you have a record of any further business which should not be transacted? I have none, Mr. President. Does any member know of any new or unfinished business which should properly come before this meeting? We are about to adjourn this meeting of the Turtle Lake Mercer FFA chapter. As we mingle with others, let us be diligent in labor, just in our dealings, courteous to everyone, and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. Fellow members and guests, please join me in a salute to our flag.